everyone, I'm Dr. Dean. You're watching Dr. Z PhD, the place to be for expert in fun gender. Lately, there has been much talk about microdosing testosterone, especially among non binary individuals, which has taken a low dose of tea to achieve subtle masculinizing effects. This is primarily due to two big stories coming up in the news, one by Alyssa, who discussed their hormone journey on microdosing in the article published by Vice, and the story of Marisa, Mika, and others told by NBC News. All of which are linked below for you in case if you're interested. But what exactly is microdosing and does it really give you physical changes you want on a low dose of tea? So in this episode, I'd like to discuss three myths that I have noticed floating around on the internet and share with you my professional thoughts on it. Now make sure you also subscribe to my channel so that way you don't miss any new content coming from me. Now before we begin discussion, let me just say that clearly I'm not a medical provider or a medical prescriber. What I'm about to share is for informational purposes only. If you plan to go on hormones or if you plan on changing your hormone dose, you should always discuss this first with your medical provider. That's just standard common sense. Now let's discuss myths on microdosing. Myth number one, microdosing tea is only for transgender men. Not true, not even close. Testosterone is a masculinizing hormone therapy that is taken not only by trans men, but also by trans masculine, non-binary, gender queer, and other gender diverse people. This is important to know because I actually see many non-binary people afraid to consider low dose of tea because they believe a doctor will assume they're trans men and will prescribe a regular regimen of tea. That's not the case. Doctors, especially trans knowledgeable doctors, are familiar with microdosing. A good doctor may even discuss microdosing with you and will discuss what your goals are in microdosing. Especially since many non-binary people wanting to start tea don't really desire full-blown masculine effects. If you're considering microdosing, make sure to discuss your goals and plans for enhancing physical characteristics with your medical doctor. Myth number two. It's all about low dose of tea when microdosing to achieve desired results. Well, that's not exactly accurate. While this is partially true because taking standard doses of tea can lead to quicker changes of your secondary sex characteristics. When it comes to microdosing, it's lesser about the dose and more about the way your body responds and tends to metabolize testosterone. Here's why. The goal of microdosing is to achieve desired masculinizing results. Often very mild masculinizing results, maybe just subtle masculine appearance or mild redistribution of fat. And the mistake many make is to assume that if they take a low dose of tea, they will slowly reach a desired effect and then just stop taking testosterone, which is not exactly the case because each body is drastically different and each body will metabolize testosterone differently. And I have personally seen people start on low dose of tea and have their voice crack within about a month and a half, while others have to microdose for six months just to achieve the same results. So if you plan on microdosing, you need to be mindful of this fact because you may be experiencing masculinizing changes too soon than you were anticipating. Or worse, you may get masculinizing changes you really don't want or weren't intending on having. Again, discussing all of this with your doctor is a key, especially uh, which changes you want and how to watch out for them. The important thing to keep in mind is that everyone is very very different. You may watch a YouTuber discuss getting exactly what they wanted on low dose of tea and assume your body will respond the exact same way only to find out that it really doesn't. Your body has your own chemistry and is highly dependent on your age and your health in addition to that. So finally, miss number three. If I stop microdosing tea, the changes will go away. Now, while the reversible changes will go away, there are a number of irreversible changes that still do happen even on low dose of testosterone, such as hair growth on face, arms, legs, chest, back, and abdomen, deepening of your voice, enlargement of clitoris, and thickening of some fashion bone structure. So as you can see, finding the right dose for you really depends on what your goals are. There is no one clinical protocol for testosterone therapy, therefore it is important to be very clear about what you want. A goal, to, uh, a goal to pass as a male is very different than a goal to achieve subtle masculine features in order to better express your non minor identity. So make sure you know what you want to get out of microdosing and how you can better get that uh, in order uh, to get there. And that's where the con really talking to doctors is very important. 
So there you go, three myths about microdosing. If you are watching this and have been microdosing, comment below and share your experiences. And if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. And I look forward to seeing all of you next Friday. Bye.